Hi, I'm Barbecue Bob with the Barbecue Guru, and I got my buddy Mo Case on here with me today from Iowa. We're making smoked brisket stew. We're gonna cook on a Dutch oven today. Okay. So I got the monolith set up direct, the second tier. Mm-hmm. Beautiful cast iron. Isn't that right? So we're gonna start with some beef stock. All right. Also our Flying Fish Oktoberfest. Oh yeah, Oktoberfest, man. This, this is a fantastic beer. Oh yes. And it's brewed like a you know a true German Oktoberfest beer. All right, so we're gonna put three beers in here. Three beers, yeah, all right, Because it man. needs a good amount of liquid. It's good stock right there. Right. Some beef broth, some good Flying Fish Oktoberfest beer. All right, one more. Mm -hmm. And then what, if you, uh, don't need my brisket. No, it's too. Tastes great. Now the next thing we could do, if you want to uh, dump okay. the shallots in there. All right. Some sweet Spanish onion. Mm-hmm. Delicious. Garlic. Oh, yeah. Fresh oregano. You want to grab a couple sprigs. This is very rustic stew. Now I have a couple special ingredients here today. Mo Quezon beef rub, and I have Barbecue Bob's beef rub. And then I'm just going to sprinkle them in. Okay. So we'll let this cook a little bit. Man, awesome, awesome. All right, now we're going to add our squash. Now we're going to add our carrots. All right, so we're going to close this and let it cook a little longer, 25, 30 minutes. Okay. All right, Mo, so this stew's been cooking quite a while now. Mm -hmm. Smelling good, man. Thank <laughs> you. And now we're going to add the potatoes okay. now that the squash has been cooking. Wow, that smells great, man. Oh, man, oh, oh. man that smells good, dude. Oh. What a hearty meal oh, on man. a nice, cool yeah, day, man, right? This is can't wait to get into yeah, it. Yeah, just stir them around in there. Wow, that just look at the colors too. It's pretty, man. Mm. All right, we'll let that cook a little bit. All right, Mo, this stew has been cooking for about an hour now. Mm -hmm. And the last thing we're gonna do is add the smoked brisket. Will you do the honor for it? I me? will. Off oh, there. wow, this smells great. This is the final, it's like sprinkles on a cupcake, baby. It really is. There you go, man. Okay, the moment of truth, all brother. Right, all right, the all right. The moment of truth. It smells awesome. Wow. Yeah. All those yeah. things all cooked down. Give me some juice, man. I got some sopping up juice. I, I get the juice. I get the juice. All right, all right. And we're going to crack, once you crack open a couple of these flying fish, I will definitely October do fish beers, we used it in the stew and we're going to drink it with our stew. Sounds great. Sounds great. Don't mm. eat it without me. I'm just smelling. It smells great, man. Just making sure. But I'm gonna get a little bit of that squash. Yes, that sounds great. Carrot, the potato. Here we go. Mmm, fantastic. Mm. The seasonings from the season from the rub, dry great. rubs, and then and the beer adds a wonderful flavor. Mm. It brings it all together. Mm. That is really good. Check out this recipe and a lot more recipes on barbecueguru.com. Prost! Oh yeah. Yeah, that goes hand-in-hand hand with that right, right there. Mm, delicious.